So day five of our journey, we are now in the southern part of Israel. Um, and we're actually at Qumran, where they found uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls, where they found uh, elements, parts uh, of the Old Testament, where these scribes would meticulously write and keep up with and produce manuscripts of the Old Testament. It was uh, around the time of Jesus. But you can tell, like, this doesn't look anything like where we had been in Israel, nor the part of Israel. Very quickly, it went from... Um, green, lush to desert. I mean, you can see behind me, that's a whole lot of desert. Behind me here, let's see, right there, is one of the caves that they found, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Um, it was preserved almost 2,000 years in jars, and we were able to verify so much of uh, our manuscripts against these original copies to say, yeah, we, the manuscripts that we have had passed down over the past 2,000 years are pretty so here in Qumran, uh, I think that these were the Essenes. Uh, these were very religious, very devout people who copied all of this work, very regimented. Uh, but because of that, we now have like all of these documents and manuscripts. Uh, it's pretty impressive that they lived out here in the desert and built all of that they built. Check this out. Standing on top of Masada, which is a fortress, and I don't know if you can see down here. There you go. That is the view. There's the Dead Sea right down here. Wow. So this magnificent fortress, it held Jewish zealots um, around 66 AD. There is they held off the Roman army for quite a long time. Once the Roman army kind of broke through their barriers, the Roman army retreated down to the valley, which is way way down there. Um, that night, the Jewish zealots knowing that they would be attacked and raided in the morning, uh, the men got together, they decided to kill all the women and children, and then kill themselves so that the Romans would not have the privilege to do that. Uh, this is, King Herod built this uh, massive fortress on top of a very, very high hill down uh, the, the the Dead Sea, which is the lowest point on Earth. Um, you can see the Dead Sea is behind me. It's very imposing, very impressive. Um, I can't imagine trying to climb this. We took a little trolley all the way up. Let me show you this behind me. Let's see. This is just such a beautiful sight. Of course, I wouldn't have liked to have looked over the edge and saw a Roman army, but this is, it's just breathtaking how, how high we are, how, I don't know. It's just awesome. So behind me is the Dead Sea, and we have some of our group that's about to get in. I don't feel like doing the, the get in, get out, go shower, get back on the bus thing, but um, you, you float in the Dead Sea. It's so full of salt that there's really no swimming. You just kind of stay on the top, um, and it's apparently very, very salty to the point of it will eat away your clothes if you don't rinse off. Um, let's go watch these guys get in. This should be fun. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> hey, how cold is it compared to yesterday? No, no, it's oh, good. Oh, sweet. Okay. No thanks. <laughs> so today we went and saw quite a few different locations. Uh, we stopped by Jericho, which I didn't get a chance to film because we weren't there for very long. Uh, we went by Qumran, we went by Masada, we went by the Dead Sea, and lastly we drove up to Jerusalem. And we drove up, we, we stopped on the mount that Jesus would have stopped at to overlook the city of Jerusalem. And I didn't film it because it was a moment for me. It was a very powerful moment. It's hard to put it into words. Uh, just feeling the burden that Jesus had as he looked over the city, knowing what was about to take place as he entered. 
it's hard to talk about. It, it's just a feeling that is just hard to describe. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching today. Hopefully you'll join again tomorrow. Uh, as always, you can tweet me at, D, at, D Dorn, at David Dorn 2 uh, on Twitter, or you can leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. I hope you have a great day. God bless.